If you're an athlete and want to make sure that your brain is performing at its best, or you play a sport that has a possibility of concussive injuries, baseline testing at the beginning of the season is a must. I'm Dr. Adam Breiner, and welcome to the NeuroEdge Brain Performance Center, where we strive to bring athletes, students, executives, and anyone who wants to improve their overall cognitive well-being the very latest in brain performance enhancement techniques. The first step in improving brain performance is to determine how the brain is currently performing. And this baseline testing is also essential to use as a comparison if an injury occurs later in the season. It helps guide treatment and gives us information about when it is best to return to play. As awareness of, con of concussions has grown over the past several years, there are more and more teams and schools that require concussion education in some form of baseline testing. Over the many years that I've been treating dramatic brain injuries, I've found that brain functional imaging using EEG is one of the most sensitive tools to assess brain function. Therefore, I encourage all athletes to get a baseline EEG. I'll discuss how this done, is done in a moment. And to get even more information how the brain is performing, I also test cognitive performance using CNS Vital Signs, a computer cognitive performance test, as well as measuring vestibular function with computerized balance testing. Using this triple baseline testing approach, we have the most comprehensive and sensitive means to assess one's brain's function and performance. So, what is an EEG? And how do we get a baseline? EEG is an acronym for electroencephalogram, and it is the measure of a brain's electrical activity. And it's truly a functional assessment of how the brain's neuronal networks communicate. Traditionally, EEGs measure just the outer surface of the brain's activity, but with newer advances called S. Loretta, we can image deeper brain structures and their electrical activity as well. First thing we do is place electrode cap on a patient's scalp. And a conductive gel is then injected into those caps electrodes so that the subtle electrical signals from the brain can be picked up. These signals are amplified and processed by a computer where we see the brain's waves projected on the screen. Next, we remove all the artifacts created by muscle and eye movement so we get a clean EEG. And as you can see here, with S. Loretta imaging, we're able to see how the brain behaves in real time and compare it to a normative database. We can even utilize a patient's past brainwave baseline as a comparator after an injury to see how far their brain has deviated from their pre-injured state. This is a great way to tell if one's brain is healed. Brain maps are also generated, letting us understand more of how the brain is communicating and the best ways we can intervene with therapies like hyperbaric oxygen, neurofeedback, transcranial electrical and magnetic stimulation, supplements, and more. The next baseline test involves taking a computerized neurocognitive test. This will measure one's overall cognitive performance as well as details as the various aspects of memory, psychomotor speed, attention, and social acuity. We utilize CNS Vital Signs as one of the most researched and sophisticated tests out there. CNS Vital Signs is used by the U.S. military veterans hospitals and worldwide by universities and pharmaceutical industries to assess neurocognitive function. A patient takes this test in the office or if appropriate at home. It usually takes between 30 to 45 minutes depending on the number of areas being tested. A report is generated that allows us to see what areas a person is either performing above average, if they're average, low, or very low when compared to the normative database. When injury occurs, there is a disruption in neuronal network communication, which can be seen on the EEG, and this will affect how the brain performs. So there is often nice correlations with brain maps generated by the EEG and the CNS vital sign testing results. The third test I like to baseline as part of our comprehensive triple baseline testing is balance. Here we use balance tracking systems, ultra sensitive force plate. We can see how well a patient's balance is compared to a normative database. And if a concussion occurs, 
as often one's balance is affected. However, this may also give us information about people's risk for falling in all age groups. The test is simple. After getting the patient's height, weight, and age, they stand on the balance plate, shoulder width apart, eyes closed, and hands on their hips. First, there's a preliminary test that is performed to get one used to what they'll need to do, and then three more 20-second tests are performed. Finally, the tests are averaged out and a report is generated. Altogether, this test takes about two to three minutes, so it's very fast, easy, and convenient. As you can see, the NeuroEdge triple baseline testing is very comprehensive and can help us know how well your brain is performing. I know of no other clinic offering such a detailed evaluation. This information is essential if you want a baseline comparator in case of a future injury and is the first place to start when figuring out a customized brain performance enhancement program. So schedule your baseline testing today.